As the vaccine rollout continues, there are few populations out there expressing concerns about getting it. That includes pregnant women. But there's a local Scripps research scientist working to change that by sharing her own experience. News 8's Shannon Handy has more on her decision to get vaccinated and her advice for other pregnant women trying to decide if they should do the same. Carlo, Dr. Lashea Jayi was 32 weeks pregnant when she got her first dose of the Pfizer vaccine. She has since gotten her second dose and says she did it not just for herself, her baby and her loved ones, but also to advocate for those in the black community. It wasn't an easy decision, I'll be honest. Dr. Lashea Jayi says choosing to get vaccinated while pregnant with her second child is something she agonized over. Her former research, talk to my friends about it, talk to my OBGYN friends who do clinical research as well. And at the end of the day, I had to decide kind of what was best for me and my exposure. Ultimately, her decision was based on multiple factors. For starters, the Scripps Research Clinician Scientist is a frontline worker. Statistics show black people are more likely than others to be hospitalized or die from COVID-19. Finally, pregnant women are also at increased risk if they get the disease. We know that pregnant women are two to three times more likely to die or have be intubated. But Dr. Ajayi says she wasn't just worried about herself, but her loved ones as well. I have a three and a half year old at home having this one and still not knowing kind of when things are going to let up, when we're going to have enough people vaccinated to get herd immunity, anything that I can do to protect my family makes me feel a lot more confident. Still, she is well aware of the fear associated with pregnant women getting the vaccine in part because there isn't enough data available. She'd like to change that. Dr. Ajayi runs the Power Mom study, which collects information about what happens to women during pregnancy. She's hoping that will grow to include those who get vaccinated, as well as black women who are underrepresented. And a lot of that has to do with, you know, the historical racism and consistent racism and implicit bias within the healthcare system. Dr. Ajayi's tweet about getting the vaccine received more than 2,000 likes. As for any side effects, she had a sore arm, headache, and some fatigue, but today is doing fine. Her advice for others, consider your personal risk factors and talk to a doctor you trust. So you do the best you can with the facts that you have. At this point, experts do not believe either vaccine poses a risk to pregnant women. Both Pfizer and Moderna have ongoing trials to gather more data.